so now let's see how we would do zero trust on AWS with third parties. So AWS does, does technically implement a zero trust model, but does not allow for intelligent identity security controls, which, you know, it, you can do it, but it's a lot of work. So uh, let's kind of compare it against kind of a third party where we would get the controls that we would not necessarily get with AWS. So for example, Azure Active Directory has a real time and calculated risk detection based on data points than AWS. And this is based on device and application, time of day, location, whether MFA is turned on, what is being accessed, and the security controls verification or logic restriction is much more robust. So, you know, just as one particular example, like device and application is not something that AWS factors in uh, with the existing controls, or at least not in a way that is consumer friendly. And, you know, I can't say on AWS, okay, when you think that this is the type of threat, only allow them access to these things, or if you think they're in a risky area or risky uh, location, only give them access to you know these things or where there's not sensitive data. You can't exactly do that in AWS very easily. And so this is where third-party solutions are gonna come into play. So you have Azure Active Directory, Google Beyond Corp, Jump Cloud, uh, and all these have more intelligent security controls for real-time detection. Um, and so the way you would use these is these would be your primary directories. Uh, for Google, Beyond Corp is just a zero trust framework. So I guess you'd use uh, Google's uh, cloud directory, but the idea anyway here is that you'd use single sign-on uh, to connect those directories to your AWS account. And that's how you'd access, access those uh, AWS resources and you get this more robust functionality, okay?